Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our host for this evening, the president and CEO of Business Report, Julio Malara. All right, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome. Welcome. Uh, we ordered snow tonight, but it didn't come in on time. Maybe it'll be in, in another 48 hours. On behalf of our sponsors, Phelps Dunbar, Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge, and Vestar Bank, LSU Flores MBA program in LaBerge, uh, we're excited that you've joined us here this evening. Tonight's program marks our 22nd class of this select group of individuals and rising stars in our community. This year's 40 Under 40 honorees will join the distinguished group of over 840 alumni that we've honored in the past 21 years. We're extremely blessed to live in this community and with emerging leaders like the ones we're honoring tonight, we believe the Capital Region has a bright future. I wanna let you know a couple of quick facts. This year we had over 543 nominations. Think about that. 543 nominations were submitted representing 246 individual nominations. Yes, it's a very select group of individuals this evening. And the facts are that some honorees work in the private sector, some work in the public sector, and others work for themselves. But all of tonight's honorees are working to make the Capital Region a better place to call home and are making a difference in our community. And speaking of making a difference in our community, our sponsors this evening are doing just that. Without their support and our partnership this evening, this wouldn't be possible. Please turn your attention to the uh, video real quickly for an official welcome from tonight's partners. Check it out. Good evening. I'm Holly Hidalgo de Kaiser, Baton Rouge Regional President at Investar Bank, where we deliver an unmatched combination of big bank power with community bank service. This allows us to serve our customers in a way that other banks can't, and with cookies on the side. Congratulations on being selected as honorees tonight. We're doing it again this year, another fun contest. It kicks off right now on our Instagram page, so listen closely. Do you have your phones ready? The first five people that follow Investar Bank on Instagram and comment on tonight's post with hashtag InvestorTop40 will win $100 gift cards. And the fun doesn't stop there. Anyone who follows Investor Bank on Instagram <laughs> and comments with the same hashtag, InvestorTop40, will be entered to win a new Xbox One X. Contest ends next Thursday and the winners will be randomly selected. Good luck and congrats on being the king of cha-ching. Y'all calm down, calm man, my goodness. Get off the phones for a second, all right? Pay Welcome attention. back to LaBerge Baton Rouge. I'm Mickey Parrington, Senior Vice President and General Manager. Tonight, we proudly recognize these accomplished individuals and what they have done for this community. Baton Rouge is stronger than ever, and we owe its success to these leaders. This city will continue to strive and develop because of people like you who care enough to make it a better place. LaBerge is proud to have celebrated its fifth anniversary here in Baton Rouge, and we are thankful to call it home. We look forward to its future as this vibrant city continues to flourish and exceed all expectations. I'd like to congratulate all the honorees tonight. Thank you again for all that you do. Good evening, I'm Dana Hart, the director of the LSU Flores MBA program. Congrats to all of tonight's honorees. This is our first year sponsoring 40 Under 40 and we're excited to be surrounded by the best young minds in Baton Rouge. Over the years, many Flores MBA alums were included in this prestigious list and we hope to continue to work closely with the most talented business professionals in and around the Baton Rouge area. The Flores MBA program offers three part-time tracks to give working professionals the chance to obtain an MBA at night, on the weekends, or completely online. Specifically, our executive track gives more seasoned professionals the chance to participate in two international study trips. These students also have access to an executive coach throughout their 17-month enrollment. On behalf of the Flores MBA program, we wish tonight's honorees success in all of their future endeavors. Thank you for the great work you do for the Baton Rouge community. Hey, over the last 22 years, we've learned some interesting things about a lot of our top 40 under 40 honorees. And one of them is that while they all work in different industries, 
They come from diverse backgrounds, have had different experiences. They all have at least three common traits among them. And let me share them with you. Number one, what we've discovered is that they're all dedicated to their vocation. Number two, they're driven to high achievement. And number three, they're determined to make a difference in our community. On top of juggling all the demands with uh, coming, they, they come along with budding careers and some of them are raising families and kids. They all make time in one way or another to volunteer and sit on boards for nonprofits across the capital region. And the truth is that we need young leaders like these tonight so that our community and our state will flourish in years to come. Before we introduce our 2018 class, please turn your attention to the screens for a special message from our last two sponsors this evening. Check it out. We got a lot of talent in the house tonight. Hey, Jeff, I have an idea. Well, someone approached me with an idea suggesting we change the name of the event to Top 50 Under 50, Asking for a Friend. Asking for a Friend, is that some trending new hashtag? Well, I'm not exactly ready to pass along the torch to the next generation of up-and-comers. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve, and I think I deserve the award Top 50 Under 50. If that's the case, maybe it should be Top 60 Under 60. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, man. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Welcome to tonight's 40 Under 40 Awards. Phelps Dunbar is proud to be a sponsor and pay homage to this year's outstanding class of honorees. We feel it is important to recognize those among us who not only work hard through philanthropy and civic engagement, but use their passion and gifts to make our community stronger and our city a better place to live. We are honored to be here celebrating with you all. Congratulations from Phelps Dunbar and enjoy the evening. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly! <laughs> Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge is excited to be a part of the annual 40 Under 40 event. Just like all the winners of this prestigious award, we take great pride in our community, our future, and rewarding our people. Over 70% of our 107 employees are under the age of 40, and we wouldn't be where we are today if it weren't for their innovation and strong work ethic. That is where we got the idea for the Drive for Charity contest. And the idea was so good that it was nominated for a 2016 SOMI Social Media Award. We thank the previous and future 40 Under 40 classes for participating in the contest and bringing awareness to their favorite local charities by utilizing our vehicles for a great cause. As you can see from the photos, it looks like everyone enjoyed giving just as much as they enjoyed driving the Mercedes Benz. We will continue on with this tradition and love being able to help our local community. Stay tuned for more details later in the program. Also, we invite you to visit our website to find out more about all of the charities we are involved with. We take our civic responsibility very seriously as it is one of the core principles of our culture. And last but not least, I want to thank Rolf, Julio, and everyone else at the Business Report for putting on such a fun event. Have a great evening. Hey, real quickly, with the holiday season already underway, I want to take just a real quick moment to thank you. I want to thank all of you here this evening. On behalf of Business Report and our sister publications in Register and 225 and 1012 Industry Report and our entire team, all of the employees at our organization, we want to thank you for allowing us to serve you. Whether it's through our magazines, our online products, our live events, we're extremely grateful that uh, you make us a part of your work and leisure life here in the Capital Region. We love this community and are committed to making Baton Rouge a better place to live and to work. And so we hope the holidays and the new year will bring you much happiness and success. And I wanted to tell you thank you before the program gets rolling because we're about to party. Well, it's showtime. At this time, I want to introduce uh, our business editor, Stephanie Regal, who will announce this year's honorees. And I'd like to ask J.R. Ball, our executive editor, to present the awards. Please help me welcome both to the stage right now. Thank you so much, Julio. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. This really is our best event of the year. The energy and the excitement and the enthusiasm in this room is so contagious and it just speaks to all the wonderful things that you young people and young entrepreneurs and business leaders are doing in the community. So thanks to all for being here tonight. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Business Reports class of 40 under 40. 
First up, Kurt Ainsworth, CEO and co-founder of Marucci Sports. Krista Allen, Senior Director of Development, LSU Foundation. About eight years ago, I lost an aunt to breast cancer. And so it's been very important to me to do advocacy and fundraising work here in Baton Rouge to not only keep her memory alive, but certainly to help with uh, research, education, treatment for women who are battling breast cancer in the Baton Rouge area. And so for the last eight years, I've been involved with Susan G. Komen. Um, and we've raised over a million dollars together, which pays for a lot of mammograms for our underinsured women. Um, I've also spent a lot of time working with our uh, female MBA group at LSU to help them with you know, professional networking and all the right skills um, to be prepared in order to uh, go into the marketplace. So, and I'm involved in my church as well. Yeah. And um, why is it so important to give back to the community? You know, I really, I go back to the, to whom much is given, much is required. And I think that, you know, I moved to Baton Rouge 12 years ago to come to LSU. And since I've been here, I feel like LSU and Baton Rouge have consistently invested in me. And I think when you're in a place and you're having the ability to grow and have opportunities, it's really critical that you give back and you make it better for the people who are gonna come behind you and the people that are gonna come behind them. And so I think it's, it's really that pay it forward model when you've been given a lot. And how does being honored tonight make you feel? It's the best, are you kidding me? I think when you meet the other honorees and you hear what they've done, you just, you find yourself in very good company and you feel really grateful that somebody said to you, nice job and keep working really hard. So it's just it's fantastic. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? You know, I think Baton Rouge is a great place to live. I think as we think about the future of this place, we need to continue to grow the amount of jobs that are available in different industries. I think we've got to get some things right with the schools and with traffic, which are kind of the things that we always say. Um, but I would love to see us continue to be a hub for uh, cuisine and music and art, but I'd also like to see us be a power player in areas like tech or even fundraising or higher education. I think that we have so much ability and if we can retain some of this 40 under 40, you know, brain trust and this leadership, I think Baton Rouge can be an incredible place. Chef Ryan Andre. Jeremy Idell, owner, Idell Investments and Sports Clips franchise. All those things I should do, but you did. Prescott Bailey, developer, Southern Lifestyle Development. Uh, extremely honored uh, to be chosen among the other 39 uh, award winners. I'm extremely flattered with how talented a group uh, that was chosen this year. And tell me a little bit about yourself and what do you do? Uh, I do real estate development. We uh, focus on master plan communities, uh, mixed use developments, uh, large scale communities, neighborhoods and subdivisions in and around the Baton Rouge area. And what is your vision for Baton Rouge? Uh, I'd love to see it continue on the path that it's going. You know, we've, we've got a lot of great things happening with downtown, uh, a lot of new restaurants, retail, smart growth communities. Uh, you know, young people are getting really excited about what's happening here in town. So the more we can progress on that path, the better. David Balhoff, orthodontist Sherman and Balhoff. Because I got that sunshine in my pocket. Jenny Ballard, managing artistic director, Theater Baton Rouge. Brandon Barker, President Barker Real Estate and Management Services. I'm on a number of uh, boards and with local organizations such as Forum 35, uh, Kids Orchestra, and we really try to make Baton Rouge better as best we can. Why are you so involved in the community? So I believe it's you, that you have to give back. So I have been fortunate to receive a lot of benefits you know, in the town, and I want to make sure I give that back. I give back to my community and I give back to my industry. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? I think Baton Rouge can come together. I think, I know it's possible. I know we can. Uh, we've had some struggles, we've had some speed bumps, but that's okay. But I think we can come together and be one city. Zane Bell, owner and CEO, Tint Masters USA and Phoenix Window Film. 
Uh, I was recommended by several colleagues. Uh, they thought I'd be a good fit for the 40 under 40, so I was happy to uh, accept the nomination. What types of things do you do in your community to make it a better place? So I do a lot of volunteer work with several organizations. One of them is actually the uh, NGP organization. We do a lot of community work for assisting uh, anyone from uh, teenage uh, youngsters to uh, older uh, people. We just did a turkey drive just recently, so we've had some good results from that. And why, why are you so involved? Uh, I like to help the community. Um, I've been in Baton Rouge over 10 years. I love the Baton Rouge area. I've seen the growth here. It's been a really, really good experience for me here. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Um, I see exponential growth, particularly economy-wise here. I, I see a lot of growth, exponential growth, and I think if everyone takes advantage of it, we can all have a really, really good city. And how does winning this honor make you feel? Excited, great, um, super fantastic. Trent Bondi, Vice President and Sales Manager of Luba Workers Comp. Um, I've been at Luba Workers Comp for 12 years now. Um, I am the regional, uh, well, I'm the sales manager um, for the organization, and um, I'm involved in two big philanthropic organizations, Carnival Crew to Louisiana and uh, Four Kids Foundation in New Orleans. And um, that's what I submitted. I'm just honored to uh, have been selected as, um, as, as one of this year's 40 under 40. And why are you so involved? Well, I think it's good to give back to the community. Um, you know, I think as much as you put into the community, the community will give back to you. And if we all make things um, a better place to live, then it's going to be a, a better place for everyone. So um, that's just what's important to me. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Um, I would say my vision for the future of Baton Rouge is to, to continue to grow economically. Um, I think that um, um, if we can grow economically, we can create jobs. If, if, if we create jobs, then we'll bring people here. If we bring people here, then more people will begin to give back. And I think that the trickle-down effect just helps everyone. Allison Bookman, pastry chef and owner of Cupcake Alley. I can't stop them. I can't stop them. Borghardt, attorney, the Borghardt Law Firm. Casey Chapman, gastroenterologist, gastroenterology associate. Tristy Charpentier, initiative manager with the Huey and Angelina Wilson Foundation. So I'm a board member of the Junior League of Baton Rouge. I've been an active member for eight years. Um, I love giving back to our community through Junior League and helping to develop the potential of women. And I'm also the um, I'm also the chair of the Louisiana 211 Coordinating Council, and I also work with um, the Department of Corrections on their Louisiana Prisoner Reentry Initiative. And why is it important to you to be involved? It's important to be involved and give back to our community because I feel like I've gotten so much from our community in my life, and the support of our community is what's allowed me to be successful in my life. And how does winning make you feel? deeply humbled to be an honoree of the 40 under 40. What is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? I see Baton Rouge as a place where all people can come together and work together to make this a place where everyone wants to live and be productive. Takesha Collins Wright, partner at Keen Miller Law Firm. Rudy Como, Vice President of Organizational Development and People for the Lemoyne Company. Kyle Cook, partner Hannes T. Bourgeois. Jeremy Cuvion, Principal at Westdale Middle School. Ryan Denham, Regional Vice President, City Air. Carol DeVillier Jr. partner Brazil Saxe and Wilson. Tom Easterly partner Taylor Porter Brooks and Phillips. 
Jonas Fontenot, Chief of Physics and Chief Operating Officer for the Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Jessica Tate Gagliano, Director of Development, Knock Knock Children's Museum. Katie Gibbons, Vice President, Private Client Relationship Manager, Iberia Bank. And how does winning this award make you feel? Oh, certainly honored. I'm just proud to represent my family, my company, and all of the nonprofits that I work with. And what are some of those nonprofits? I work um, with the Ascension Chamber of Commerce, um, with Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center, and just proud to be able to, um, to provide community support to those organizations. And why did you get involved? Um, because I just feel like um, it's our duty that, um, you know, my philosophy is uh, to who much is given, much is expected. And what is your vision for Baton Rouge? I really just um, hope Baton Rouge is a place where people feel comfortable to um, raise their family and where they can work, um, work and play. Hannah Bourne Green, veterinarian with the Sherwood South Animal Hospital and Baton Rouge Veterinary Specialist. Well, I've only been practicing for a few years. Um, I graduated from LSU in 2015, um, and I do integrative medicine for Baton Rouge Veterinary Specialists in Sherwood South. So I combine traditional uh, Western practices, diagnostic surgery, hospitalization, with um, Western therapies like herbal therapy, acupuncture, mostly for management of chronic pain, chronic diseases, um, and uh, you know to help animals feel feel their best. And how does winning this honor make you feel? Um, I'm really flattered um, that you know there's people out there that are uh, grateful for what I do and see how much passion I have for this industry and the love that I have for animals and their quality of life. So it's very humbling. Um, I, you know, I, I can't believe that little old me got nominated, um, but I'm very grateful. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? I think my vision for the future of Baton Rouge is actually to have more veterinarians embrace integrative medicine as a um, you know as an option for patients um, you know elderly patients or geriatric patients really uh, end-of-life patients um, I think it's a very um, untouched and untapped into part of, of the medical um, community in veterinary medicine so I hope that actually I just hope more veterinarians will be open to it and start practicing it themselves so we can all do it together. Nathan Hamer, Director of Bands for Southern University. Ooh, I really don't know why I'm being honored tonight other than the Southern University Marching Band is the best band in the world and I'm honored to be the leader of it. And how does being honored tonight make you feel? Uh, I'm so happy. You know I, risk, I can bottle tonight so when I have my bad nights I can drink the bottle and get me through bad times. This is what it's all about, you know. Just feeling good about what you do. And I'm passionate about what I do. And when you follow your passion, you have no doubt. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Vision for the future of Baton Rouge is to solve the traffic problem by getting a loop around the city. Like if you're coming from New Orleans, you should be able to go to Gonzales and go east to west. East should take you to Denham Springs, west should take you to the somewhere but Lafayette in between, so you go around the city. Traffic is horrible. I think everybody agree on that. And I just want, I love Baton Rouge. I'm a Baton Rouge native. I just want Baton Rouge to continue to grow. Matthew Laborde, President and CEO for Elephant Realty. Jeremy Langlois, Executive Chef White Oak Plantation and Farm. Oh, well, I mean, it's just so fantastic. I mean, it, just to be recognized for anything, it's just it's just a great feeling. So, uh, so uh, you know, I'm 38 years old, so I guess just to make it in right under the wire, I guess, was 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 extra unique for me as well. But uh, just any time anybody notice, notices you, it's just a great feeling. So, so, it, so just couldn't be happier. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Oh, well, you know what? I, I can't say I have a vision for Baton Rouge. I just think just us as people, if we just... If we all do what we're passionate about and all do uh, do uh, what we enjoy, that's just kind of how I approach life and and recognize everybody and just respect each other. And uh, and I think the world just becomes a better place. Um, I mean, I love Baton Rouge. This is my home. This is where I was born. So I'm, you know, it's a place I'm happy to be at. 
Andrew Lopez, who's not able to be with us tonight. He's the vice president of Cajun Constructors. David Mullins II, Senior Vice President, Relationship Manager for Middle Market Commercial Banking at Capital One Bank. Kenny Wynn, CEO and co-founder of 368. Diana Payton, CEO, YWCA of Greater Baton Rouge. So I'm the current CEO of YWCA Greater Baton Rouge. And um, I'm honored for the award. I believe part of the reason why I was selected um, is for the many different organizations that I'm a part of and help to um, support their mission and their work and ultimately the work that we're doing to help empower women here in Baton Rouge. And why did you decide to get involved in the first place? Um, I decided to get involved. Um, I'm a social worker at heart first. And so community service is a part of who I am. It's part of the fabric and fiber of who, who I am. And so it's a natural thing for me to be a part of this. And what is your uh, vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Um, I envision a Baton Rouge that is progressive, that's moving forward, that is open to new ideas and new strategies um, around affordable housing and mixed income housing after the great flood. I see a city that's pushing for equitable pay for women, um, and that's progressive and open-minded to new ideas. Gunjan Rhina, medical doctor and director, MDVIP and Heal360. Lionel Rainey III, who's also unable to join us this evening, he's the president of LR3 Consulting and Public Relations. Mary Conan Raven, Associate Medical Director, Palliative Medical Services, Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center. Donnie Rose, Marketing Director of Forward Arts, Inc. I am a teaching artist and marketing director with Forward Arts Incorporated. We are a creative writing youth spoken word organization. We do in-school creative writing workshops, after-school programming, um, a monthly teen open mic, an annual teen poetry slam festival, and my uh, work with young people in the literary arts field, uh, field is the main reason why I'm, I'm here. And how does winning this honor make you feel? It is incredible. I'm a native of Baton Rouge. I've lived here my whole life. To be recognized by business support is an extremely big deal for my life's work. This is my passion, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? For Baton Rouge to just be a more equitable place to where all of its citizens have the same opportunity for economic advancement, for growth, and for prosperity. Alexandra Rouse, Chief of Staff, New Schools for Baton Rouge. April Rush Ruffalo, Compliance Officer and Acting CFO of the Louisiana Culinary Institute and co-owner of BRQ Restaurants. I have helped run Louisiana Culinary Institute. Also, I own BRQ Restaurant, one of the owners. I have um, a couple of philanthropic um, endeavors as well. I'm one of the tr trustees for LCI Foundation. I'm one of the co-founders of the Baton Rouge Emergency Aid Coalition, and we have provided aid from everywhere from the flood last year to we've sent over 5,000 pounds of medical equipment to Puerto Rico. So, done a couple of different things. I'm also a lawyer, I just don't practice anymore. So. <laughs> and why did you get involved? Um, well, we were flooded, my husband and I, our house was flooded, so the break actually formed after that, and um, it was just a way to kind of divert my attention. Um, also, the school, LCI, Louisiana Culinary Institute, was helping feed the hungry, so that was one of those things that just kind of naturally happened. And how does winning this award make you feel? Uh, a little nervous. I don't really do really great winning stuff. Um, I have to learn to just close my mouth and just say thank you. <laughs> and what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Um, I think Baton Rouge is a great town. It's a great place to raise children. I have two little boys, so I'm very happy to be here. We moved from Chicago here um, because my, my family is here. And I think that th there's a lot of room for growth and the people are nice. So, you know, there's, there's industry here as well. So 
we're moving forward. Melissa Thompson, Director of Talent Development, Baton Rouge Area Chamber. Well, I work as the Director of Talent Development for the Baton Rouge Area Chamber, where I work to recruit and retain top talent to meet workforce needs of the Baton Rouge area. I'm also one of the co-organizers of TEDxLSU, the premier TEDx event in the community, uh, and I do a lot of volunteer work around, around town. And how does winning this honor make you feel? It's overwhelming. Um, I'm in the business to promote other people and other things happening in Baton Rouge, so it's a little unnerving to be on this side of the camera. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a big honor, and I think it's a testament to the people that I work with at RAC. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? My vision for the future of Baton Rouge is that we are open and honest and progressive and welcoming and we are already a, a city and a community made of wonderful people and if we can recruit new people in to make it even better alongside the locals, I think that would be a great, a great thing to happen in Baton Rouge. And last but certainly not least is Natalie Wood, Vice President Coordinator at Entergy Riverbend Station. I'm really excited. I'm very, very honored to receive the award. And tell me a little bit about yourself and what you did to, in order to be to win this. Uh, a lot of what I've did uh, revolves around nuclear power and different volunteer type organizations I've worked with uh, throughout my career promoting uh, the benefits of nuclear power. And what is your vision for the future of Baton Rouge? Well, since I live in St. Francisville, I believe my vision's a little bit broader than just Baton Rouge. I'd like to see Louisiana a place that everybody wants to call home. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 2017 Baton Rouge Business Reports class of 40 under 40. One of our traditions for the last couple of years for all of our top 40 under 40s is Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge uh, is going to give you a car for at least a month. Hang tight. All right, so Julio has already ruined what I was going to surprise y'all with. So let's, just, let's get that straight. Um, yeah, yeah, that's more. There's more. There's more. Um, I want to thank y'all for everything y'all have done, just changing our capital region. So thank you for from for me and behalf of Mercedes Benz of Baton Rouge. Um, also, I would say this is the most exciting event for us for the year, the most unique, the most dynamic. Y'all are going to be in one of our cars for an entire month. So uh, it's all good stuff, right? So. Um, the first prize for you all is y'all get to be one of our select models for an entire month, and that is the GLC. So, yep. Yep. So, and there's actually a grand prize as well. Yeah, there's more. There's more. <laughs> so, uh, there's going to be one grand prize winner, and the way it works is during your month with the GLC, you'll have the ability to post the hashtag drive, the number four charity. Nick mentioned it on our sponsor video earlier. So basically your whole entire month, it's going to be on Facebook, of course. Uh, you going to win? <laughs> you claiming it now? <laughs> so, so whoever has the biggest footprint, we're going to look at it at the end of the year once everybody drives. We're going to look at it, and we're up in the ante this year. We are going to donate $3,000 to a local charity of y'all's choice. So, yep. So, and I know Julio's here. He's trying to kick me off already. He's a stickler for time. So, uh, I said it earlier. I want to thank y'all for everything you've done uh, from the bottom of my heart and from Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge. Thank y'all for making Baton Rouge a, a better place to work, a better place to live, and uh, we appreciate it, and hopefully everybody can win some money tonight. So, thank y'all. Hey, the night is young, and on behalf of Phelps Dunbar, Investar Bank, LSU Flores MBA program, Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge and LaBerge, Thank you for joining us this evening. The bars are now open. There's more food. Enjoy and let's celebrate. Congratulations to Top 40 of the 40. Yes, indeed. Let's enjoy the night. Thank you all.